right, welcome back. Happy New Year. And uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about three ways to approach workouts. So I talked a little bit, this is a follow-up from what I did on my last video on how to approach the workouts, but I started thinking about it after, and there's actually three ways that you can approach workouts, and we can always have that big picture goal in mind, which is moving well and feeling good as we get older. All right, so option one, and this one is gonna kinda happen if I underestimated the workout and I'm already into the workout, all right? You're going through it and uh, weight's too heavy. You have to make a choice that, okay, it's okay, I'm gonna keep the weight the same, but to move through this properly like I was doing in the warm up, I'm gonna have to slow down, which is okay, right? If we're moving towards that bigger picture, I'm just gonna need to slow myself down, make sure I get set up, and I'll probably get time cap on this workout, but I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna make sure I do the, my movements right, take breaks so I can do the movement properly. So that's option one. All right, so option two is gonna be I have to scale the reps down. So this, an example of this would be I'm a person that can do five push-ups on the crown in a row, and the workout that I, that's in front of me has a hundred push-ups in it. All right, so for that person, 100 push-ups is gonna be a lot that's gonna take us way longer than we would like to, especially if it's a workout that I wanna move through. So scaling the reps down for the workout will allow me to keep moving through the workout how it's supposed to be, but I'm still able to do the RX push-up. So I'm still working my push-ups on the ground. I'm still getting that RX movement. I just scale the reps down. All right, and now we're to option three. So option three is I scale the movement or I scale the weight. So talking about our person that can do five RX push-ups on the ground. Now we're talking, okay, we're gonna keep the 100 push-ups the same, but I'm gonna scale you up enough, maybe that's propping you up on a box or getting a bar to set up to a place that I could do 20 push-ups in a row with that movement or I'm gonna scale the weight, maybe it's a 135 weight, I wanna do all the reps in that workout, so that means I'm gonna to have to scale the weight down to maybe 95 or 75, and I keep all of the reps the same as what the workout calls for, so I can move through it how I'm supposed to. All right, so to conclude, whichever way you decide to approach a workout, or whichever way you and your coach come up with that you're gonna do, always remember that the end goal is to feel good every time you leave here and to be able to come back the next day to keep us moving forward in health and wellness and feeling good and moving better when we get older. All right guys, happy new year and let's make 2018 an awesome one.